hello friends in today's video i'm going to show you how we can make one model component to use throughout the application in this video we will create one component and that component will be used throughout the application or in all the modules for a model window okay as you can see we have a menu here model right on click of this we have a function and on that we are showing a model window like this one we have this model header and model description and the footer this three six section configurable so if we want to change this title anytime we can do this obviously we will be changing our model desk model description and sometime we will need close button sometime we need close and submit button or ok button something like this so this is also configurable okay and at the same time as i said this will be throughout the application so maybe in one page or in one view we will show multiple model as you can see in this case this is the number section we have the model model window opening from the nav by itself and we will also open this from our this is home component so in from our home component also so if i click on open model it will also open the same model but with different header text and body text and this is also different uh, that's coming from this home component itself so if i go to the header the navbar section the header one so we can see that this is the header uh, header component here we are using this model window component and we are passing one variable this is basically on flag boolean property that is true or false if we are if the show model flag is input flag is true then this model window will be displayed otherwise it will not be displayed so this is in our control when to show this model and when to hide this model now the header part the header text as you can see this header section we are sending this as as model header property so inside this model header property whatever we will be passing that will be rendered in the in the header section of the model window so i just changed this for oh, this the header section right so we get it in header so if i open it header you can see something this got printed and same goes for body section if we change anything in this body part it will be reflecting in the model section model body now if we add multiple body part so what will happen let's see this will show both the model body okay. so whatever data will be passing in the model body this will be reflecting in the body content of the model window and the model uh, header part whatever model part header section will be sending that will be shown in the header section same goes for footer here we have a function this is nothing but a simple function which is changing this flag from true to false this one just making that flag as false so that's all for this model window from header component now if i go to home page component okay let me before that let me show you how many ways we can use this model window component right this is uh, if we are using this as ng content if i show you the model window component template file html file this is the section where we are accepting the header part and this is the uh, body part and this is the footer part using ng content so if you know angular js there was ng transcode now in angular latest version or angular 2 plus version uh, this is the angular 8 version i'm using so here we have the ng content to uh, get the same behavior as ng transcode we can pass entire html we can pass simple text even we can pass complex forms even the component itself we can render within this model body so inside this component we have simply one input and one output output is on close when user will be clicking on the cross icon at the right side that time we are sending this event emitter this button is on the component itself so we will have control on this button but this cross icon at the top right it's coming from the 
modal window component so we will not have any control on this that's why you need to pass one control that event emitter that user user clicked on this cross icon to close the model right so on close if there is any subscriber or any observer is uh, has been passed so in simple terms if we pass any on close output property file using this component at that time so it will not close the model but it will emit the event and from there if the component the observer component if in case need to do some manipulation uh, you need to show some content it can show otherwise it can close it by changing the flag this one and if we do not pass anything any observer it will simply close the model from here itself okay so this is the uh, model component and one more thing here we can also use the class say we'll use the model header class instead of the attribute so if i do one thing if i change this to class and we'll simply pass some static string this still there this is but we have also passed one static string with the class model header now let's see which one will take priority so it's we passed model header class and here we are expecting this to be model header check so we can see now the previous one is not taking here so whatever we passed in the class section class model header it's taking that one so either we can use class or you can use the attribute so that is the one thing we have here now coming back to home component in home component in home component what i have i have two model window this one and this one this is the initial one which is showing there and this is also uh, showing by changing the flag here show model so on show model we are just showing this model model object and model window and here i have one button register it's it's calling a function and the function is opening the another opening another model so this is the function getting called when you click on the register button so essentially what's doing it's closing the previous model the show model it's changing it to flag uh, false so this flag is now false that's why the previous model window getting closed and we are showing the second model that is the show model 2 right we're showing show model 2 and here we have the app registration component so it's a, this component is a part of per module itself so this is a part of registration module okay, to use this component inside our module our component we just uh, imported this module and use this app registration and obviously this app registration component uh, i have already given the in export section okay now let me show you how it's working if i click on register it will close this model and open a new one with the component component and also you can see the validation is working here so whatever will pass it will work as it is either it, if uh, it's a simple page basically and this page we are showing inside the model body so this is working as a sim as a, as a separate page but within the model body here i have the form builder uh, with this form so we can see the form builder is working also properly with this right so whatever we want we can pass within this either string component big html so this is good approach because uh, in case we need to pass this form or any big html content to the to some uh, component uh, in the input property it's not a good practice right so sending a big data in the input it's not a good practice so either we have to use the view child or this uh, uh, content projection so i think this is the best uh, approach for this model window uh, model window feature and here for this on close section we have this function close to what's essentially doing is this function is again hiding this model window and showing this model in the previous one let me show you if i click here uh, remember this button is here so we have completely we have the control on it but this cross is coming from the component the model into component so don't have the control we only have this event emitter here on this event emitter we're calling the same function so it's doing the same feature either we click on the close button or in the cross icon so this is working properly now
so uh, that's all for today give me your comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you